Hey kindergarten, what's up? I've got lots of energy today and I'm just so excited to teach you these two new blends. They kind of look a lot like our ones that we did yesterday, um, but they're different and I'm so excited to, to teach them to you today. <laughs> so like I said, we have two new blends and um, we'll go over them. I'll give you two words that um, have that sound in them and then I will go over the worksheets um, that you have today in your packet. So whew, I just had a lot of coffee today, kindergarten. I am just in a great mood. Um, so let's get started, okay? So here is our first blend. It has a C and an L in it. So whenever we see a C and an L <laughs> smashed together, it's going to make this new sound. So C says K, L says oh, let's put it together. Cool. Can you make that sound? Cool. <laughs> Sounds kind of funky, but whenever we see a C and an L together, it's going to make that sound. Cool. Now I'm going to give you two cool words. Um, and my sound's going to be at the beginning of these words, but remember some words can have this in the beginning of a word, or I'm sorry, in the middle of the word too. Okay. So my first CL word is going to be cool am okay so cool is at the beginning and then a and m a and m is a sight word of ours um and we know that a m says am so let's put those two sounds together cool am clam all right so clam is one of my words um another one let's do hmm oh cool Oh, okay, so there's my CL that makes that sound cool. And then we have AW, which makes the sound aw. So cool, aw. Let's put those two sounds together. Cool, aw, claw. Like a bear claw or a cat claw. <laughs> so those are my two words that have that CL at the beginning of the word. Um, go ahead and bring some brainstorm some words of your own comment below some of the words that you came up with and I can't wait to see what you came up with let's go ahead and turn our board around and here is our next blend it has a c and an r let's go ahead and chop it and slide it and see what sound we get when we put a c and an r together all right so c says k R says er, cur. Can you make that sound? Cur. So anytime you see a C and R, it's gonna make that sound. Cur. All right. So my cur word is going to be the word cry. So there's my cur. Remember, whenever that Y stands alone at the end of the word, um, with no vowels in between it or before it or after it. It's gonna make that sound I. So cur, I, let's put it together. Cry, so cry has that, um, you know, that <laughs> CR at the beginning of the word. And then my last CR word is going to be crayon. Okay, so that has that CR at the beginning of the word, okay? So that, those are our two blends today. Um, you have the same kind of worksheets as you did yesterday with our BL and BR, um, but today you have CR and CL, so you're going to get lots of coloring in these next two days. So same thing, you're going to look at the pictures and color them if they have the sound cool in them on this one, and then CR is if they say cur, okay? So those, you have those, and then you have another read and match. So read the sentences, write the number beside the picture that matches it in that little circle. And then you have a new writing page, okay? So yesterday we corrected sentences. We made sure that they had correct um, capitalization, uppercase letters at the beginning, and we made sure that they had punctuation at the end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at this sentence this is read the sentence. I have a 
dog, okay? So that is your sentence, I have a dog. Now your next part, it says fix the sentence. So you're going to be looking for um, a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence, then the rest of the, rest of the letters should be lowercase, and then you're gonna look for a punctuation at the end of your sentence. So remember, your choices are a period, exclamation mark, or a question mark. Um, it, I have a dog. Is that a question mark, kindergarten? It isn't. So question mark is off the table. Now you can choose between a period or an exclamation mark. You decide. Remember, if you use an exclamation mark, that means that you want your reader to read that sentence excitedly, okay? And then you're going to do an illustration at the bottom, okay? Whew. Oh, and I hear, down here, sorry, it says checked by a friend. So you can um, pick a friend in your household. That can be brother, sister, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever is in your house today. Um, have them check your sentence. Make sure that it has all the right parts of a sentence. And make sure that they check your drawing. Make sure that it has lots of detail and lots of color, okay? And that is it for today for reading and writing. I will catch you on the math video.